what's up everybody uh, let's see i have a lot of questions about the accord it's a 94 ex with the sunroof it was a fully loaded model it's a stock f22 b2 the original motor in here was the f22 b1 but it was high mileage. The previous owner didn't take care of it, so I drove it with a rod knock for a year till it gave out. Then I swapped it in the F23A, drove it for a year until I dropped the valve, but that's a whole nother story. Uh, the F23A was boosted as well, the same turbo, same setup. It just catastrophe happens, trial and error, I, I should say. Now I'm on the F22B2, it runs just fine. Everybody doubt the F-Series motors for some reason. I don't know why everybody doubts them. They make power just like any other motor. So I think with it being lower lower compression, I think that helps with being able to run so much you know, boost to it. I'm on 19 pounds right now. I did put it on the dyno. It made 337 on the dyno. Uh, that was before I upgraded to a bigger fuel pump. So it's a uh, eBay wastegate log manifold, you know, eBay turbo, so eBay e uh, EM USA intercooler, just regular eBay piping and couplers. Um, I did go with a precision injector for my tuner, he had some. <coughs> oh, excuse me, get my wake and bake on, but yeah, um. I bought the blow valve locally off a of marketplace. Uh, other than that, oh, also uh, we did a alternator relocation because you know this was going to be in the way of sitting with the alternator right there. So we got rid of AC, moved it down there. I have no issues at all with the alternator being re relocated. The belt's tight. It doesn't move or shift or anything like that. It stays right where it needs to be. Uh, I have a Civic. Uh, radiator, a Civic fan, it sits right behind the intercooler, I have no issues with that, works just fine, clears the charge pipe on the turbo so it doesn't rub on it or anything like that, works just great. <coughs> uh, we did cut a little bit out of the frame to get the intercooler pipe to go through right there, so just a little bit, not a whole lot. It doesn't rub or anything like that. It clears just enough space for it to do its bends and go straight into the turbo. Uh, so, so we just ran it this way, ran it behind the battery, down through the wheel, wheel well, come around to the intercooler. I do have intercooler brackets that's mounted on there so the intercooler doesn't move, so it's nice and sturdy. Uh, other than that, it's you no know, a pretty pretty basic setup. It's a GT35 turbo, 62 millimeter, works just fine. I have no issues with it. <clears throat> what said, uh, oh, also, uh, I did go with the higher line for my clutch because I got rid of the stock clutch line because it was causing too much trouble. I kept losing pressure after so many runs, but now I have a higher line. Let me see if I can get back there. Yep, there it is. Oh, focus, come on. Okay, there's the hard line right there. It, I just tucked it along the firewall, just like the old clutch line. Took the extra wire back there over there in the corner. Straight into the chain. That works just fine. I have no issues with that. You know, there's no little stuff here and there that helps you know, keep the car running. Oh, also, uh, someone was asking me you know, why I don't spin if I was making power. Uh, as you can tell, I have GT radios. There are 235, 45-17s. They do have plenty of tread on them. They do work perfectly fine when they warm. They fucking hook. So, it's from a 30 row. I barely spin second. First gear is pretty much fucking useless, but second, third, fourth, and fifth it goes. So, same thing on the set. 235s upside down sorry that's 35s 45s 17s they do that tread i said once they're warm they they work just fine i have no issues with those either 
Well, so this whole setup, man, is pretty much budget friendly. I didn't spend any serious money. Uh, also, uh, my last transmission, my third gear, went out pretty bad, so I had to find another transmission. Upskew the blunt. That's my wake and bake. But uh, I'm using an M2 J5 transmission. It works just fine. I have no issues with that. I think the gear ratio is perfect for this car. Uh, um, my last transmission was the M2 was the M2 S4 transmission from a Prelude fourth gen, I think. Yes, M2 S4. So I need to take that transmission apart and see what synchro is going bad on there or whatever. I need to replace it in that one, but. That one was a way, way shorter gear transmission. That one was like, almost like a GSR transmission. It was short gear as shit, but it, it, it did help with you know, keeping the car rolling fast. Uh, this is my old F23A JDM motor. I dropped the valve in cylinder four. As you can see, yeah, it's pretty bad, but everything else is pretty good. I'm gonna use this block and clean it, build it. Probably bore it out and put some bigger pistons and stuff in there and use that as my next motor. But I gotta get an engine stand so I can do all that. Oh, uh, also the fuel pump. Uh, it's it's gutted. Yes, it's pretty much gutted. I still just got the interior and stuff I gotta take out in the front, but the carpet and stuff. But other than that, it's pretty much gutted. Um, fuel pump I did have a DW 200 for a while then I realized once we got on the dyno it wasn't kicking on out enough fuel for uh, the power I wanted so I had to upgrade to a, a D uh, not a DW a fucking Warboro 450 E85 pump it's a high flow Ugh. so that definitely helps out with the uh, being able to push boost the fuel is definitely essential when you know trying to push boost on the vehicle especially a high horsepower application than that it's uh pretty budget friendly it's nothing too crazy i'm on a comp stage four clutch i've had it in for about a year or two now and still holds just fine no slippage nothing like that it doesn't heat up or anything it doesn't fade none of that so that's that was a good quality uh buy i got right there um other than that no it's pretty basic not too much major the only thing I could really consider if you do you know go with a budget build is get a good fuel system make sure you have plenty of injectors make sure you have a good fuel pump for your setup and then uh, a decent sized turbo you don't want to go too too big because if you go too too big then you're gonna have lag so roughly a GT35 like a 62 or a 57 or a 62 66 something like that around their application to be just fine for you know, 15 16 pounds if you're trying to get over 300 mark but if you just want to stay like 280 or you know just to make the turbo noises then like 57 or something be cool like that you know, it's just just something to make the noises with other than that i have no issues with this though it's, it runs just fine you know it, it pulls hard in every gear so i said i beat a corvette the other day surprisingly i don't know how but it did. It was a full bolt on C6 Grand Sport. So that tells me this damn thing is definitely faster than what I expected. But I appreciate you guys. Definitely showing the love to me, man. I'm, I'm going to keep trying to post content for you guys. Uh, trying to you know, give you guys some ideas just in case you want to boost your vehicle and make some power. Just make a fun street car or you no know, daily weekend car or whatever you want to do with it. So I drive this maybe three or four days out of the week. Then I drive my uh, other daily car, but I prefer to take this one before I take the other vehicle. So, um, but it's fun, man. I love it. Um, I'm going to try to keep, you know, build the F-Series motors because a lot of people underestimate the F-Series motors. I don't know why, but they make just as fine as power as any other uh, Honda application out there. So it's, it's a fun project. So, definitely keep you guys updated.
definitely going to keep posting videos, recent content, and all the other good stuff for you guys. Uh, feel free to share, subscribe to the page, whatever you guys want to do. You know, if you have any questions, my, you know, my DMs are always open. Just hit me up or comment on, on the YouTube channel. I'll always respond best I can, fast as I can. So, definitely. So if you guys have any questions, just you know, comment on the, comment on the section or whatever. I'll try to answer most of them best I can. And uh, keep posting. Appreciate you guys.